we are, are in module two, let's look at chapter one because all of the chapters after that will kind of follow the same pattern. Chapter one, there is a link that says to read chapter one color management. The textbook is currently, at the time of this recording, available for free. And so you can click on this link. If you are on campus, it will just automatically load the book and you can start reading. If you're off campus, it will ask you, I believe for your My, My SLCC username and password, but you should be able to access it for free at home without any problems. Um, once you're done reading, you can check out the color management lecture. And so what we've done is we've included three things on the lecture materials pages for each chapter. Um, now some chapters will have all three, some of them will have one, some will have two, but in general there are three categories of things that you will see. The first is a slideshow lecture, and so every chapter has a slideshow lecture. Some are not fleshed out as much as others. Um, chapter one is thoroughly fleshed out, and so if you use the little arrow thing, you can click through. You can even make it bigger so it takes up the whole screen. I do apologize. I hit a button that added these animations, and I can't figure out how to turn it off. But I believe after the second one, they're not on there anymore, so it won't be as annoying as all these animations are. Okay, the second thing you might see is a series of recorded lectures. And so you can look through the slideshow and you can read through it and you can kind of absorb the information that's being presented. This might point out some things from the chapter that are more important than others since the chapter will cover more than the lecture covers. And then I like to record the lectures. And so below that you might see the same slideshow, but now I've recorded a lecture over top. And so it might be easier for you just to watch the video. And then what is not included with chapter one are supplemental videos. And so if we're covering a topic that I think that they will be better covered with some Adobe.com videos or things that I found on YouTube, below these two things you'll see additional videos. There is a knowledge test and a skills practice for almost every chapter. So you'll notice that some chapters don't have the skills uh, practice. That's because they're kind of knowledge-based chapters and not skills chapters. The knowledge test can be taken two times. There's no time limit. I'm going to go ahead and take this quiz so you can kind of see what the questions are like. The idea of the knowledge tests are not to um, challenge you and make you panic and make you feel like you're going to fail the class. They are asking questions that are pulling out information from the chapter that are important for what we're doing. And the questions are all in the order that you'll find them in the book. And so you could open up your knowledge test and you could take the test alongside your reading as you're reading through. You could read the book and then watch the lecture and then take the knowledge test and just see how you do on it. And then if you get an 8 out of 10, you can take it again. And you can just look up the two answers that maybe you didn't get right the first time. Um, there's no reason not to take this twice. Uh, whatever your highest grade is, is going to be kept. And so I would recommend take the quiz and see how many answers you actually know, and then go back and review the reading or the lecture on the questions that you got wrong. Okay, and the last thing that you'll see are skills practice activities. And so the skills practice activities are kind of unique. So they are discussion threads, so anything that you post your classmates can see. You can read through my description up here. It's a little bit lengthy. It's the same description on every chapter skills practice. So once you read it for chapter one, you don't have to read it for chapters two and three and four, etc. cetera. Um, what I'll do is I will reply to the original post and I will post videos of me doing demos, me or somebody else doing demos on specific topics that are of importance within the chapter. And so for chapter one, I've identified a few things that I think are the most important things in the chapter. Launching Photoshop, viewing and changing document color modes, choosing a color space and color settings, like I pointed out on the, the activity, the, the project a few minutes ago. Printer Profiles 101, we'll cover printer profiles in great detail in chapter 24, but we'll introduce them in chapter one here. And then talk about document color profiles. And so what I'll do is I will either um, in these discussions below where I've posted the topics, I'll post extra videos I found on the subject, I'll post a video of me walking through specific things, or I'll post uh, worksheets or something like that that might help you with these topics. And the discussions, these skills practice discussions, they're a good place for you to practice. And so you could practice the activity that I'm demoing, and you can reply back, and you can submit your activity if you'd like to. Um, they're not graded. I'm not going to 
to sit and grade and critique everybody's submissions, but you can ask questions. And so if you're having trouble with um, Printer Profiles 101, I hope that you're not seeing that thing blink at the top of the screen like I am, but you probably are. Um, I'll try to be quick. So if you're having trouble with Printer Profiles and there's something in the video you're not getting, you can hit the reply button and you can reply to my post and you can ask a question. And then if you know the answer, you can reply to somebody else. You can help somebody else out. Um, and then as soon as I see it, I'll also reply back to it and try to answer your questions in as timely a manner as possible. Uh, my idea behind these skills practice uh, discussion threads are that you can, you can try to get help if you're struggling in a certain area and somebody else is struggling. Maybe they will post it first and then you'll see the answer. But also, I get a lot of students that come back at the end of the semester and they say, well, what can I do to get an A? And what can I do to raise my grade? Can I have some extra credit? And this is how I'm going to give extra credit. If you bomb the module two exam, but you have posted every single one of these demos and showed me what you're working on, and you have, have posted and you've asked questions and you've responded to other students, and you say to me, I bombed module two exam, you know, I did this, this, and this. Go back and look at those threads. I was definitely active in those threads before I took the exam. That's where I can award extra credit. And so, so my policy for extra credit in Art 1280 is that if you are active, if you were active in the discussion thread um, and you would like to request extra credit um, for a particular module, I will give you one point of extra credit for each chapter that you were actively participating in. And so module two has five chapters. Well, it has six, but five and six are kind of combined in one. You could earn five points onto your exam. Um, which the exam is out of 30 points and so if you got a 20 out of 30 that's not so good but if you got a 25 out of 30 that can drastically increase your score and so this extra credit policy is not listed anywhere except for in this video and so those of you watching the video you can write this down and you can email me um, after you complete your exam if you feel that you need to add that extra credit to your score